So I moved into my house about two years ago and every single time that I go into my closet, it has never been a pleasant experience. There's always clothes on the floor, the doors would always get stuck on the clothes on the floor, it would be chaotic trying to find anything. So today I decided to dedicate the entire day to reorganizing and getting rid of clothes and making my closet more efficient and just making it overall a better and more pleasant experience. The thing that I have been dreading for the longest time that I have not been wanting to do is my closet. I don't think you guys are ready for this. All right, so here's the game plan. Oh my God. My closet has looked like this for like months now. It's like overflowing. I have way too many clothes and I just like haven't been able to organize it or have the time to organize it. Now, finally in quarantine, I have nothing to do besides organize the house. Okay, so number one, I want to take off all of the doors in my closet. I don't know, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to put doors in a closet. It's like having a closet in a closet. It's just, it's too many doors, too much. I don't like it. So I want to take off all of the doors from my closet. That way it's kind of more open concept. Number two, Two, I want to try and get rid of 25% of my clothes because a lot of my clothes I don't even wear. I feel like having too much stuff is just overwhelming and I just feel a lot better when I don't have so much clutter. And then number three, I want to style it. So I want to get all of my nice bags. I want to get all of my nice boxes, my vision board. I want to display it all in my closet so it's almost like an art piece as well. And just like visually appealing to look at. I saw so many pictures on Pinterest of like cute decorations of like Ikea closets. So that is the deal, yo, today! I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm not. I get scared. I don't even think I stepped foot in that closet in a really long time because it stresses me out. Not anymore. Not today, Satan. We're doing this. <laughs> Step one, I need to figure out which screwdriver works for this. Also, Lola, a oh, <laughs> and they like hurt your hands when you use them. Oh my God, I found it the first try. Woo! Hello, good luck starting this off good. I'm feeling a lot less anxious because I can put all this stuff away now. Like before it was like when I try to open the doors, like the clothes will get stuck and I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let's do this. Okay, first I'm going to take off all of these labels because it's my ex-boyfriend's closet. So we got to remove this. <laughs> and I'm thinking this side of the closet that I was never using, this could be like my athleisure. So I think this could be cute for like leggings and stuff like that. Uh, more room. Since this is what I see if I like were to take a mirror selfie, I want to make this one really cute cute this little cubicle right here so i think i want to put my vision board here so i'm gonna clear this out hopefully it fits oh my god ah! it like just fits oh cute i love it and then maybe if i had like some sort of flowers or something here that would be cute bro i don't know what that is there's like a substance i don't know i haven't looked in this closet in so long we gotta lysol this shit. oh there's even dog hair here Ooh, that made such a big difference oh Okay, the way that I'm gonna organize it, if I like it, if it brings me joy, I'm gonna put it in my closet. If it does not bring me joy, I'm gonna throw it outside of my closet room and it's gonna go towards donations. Adeline, you got this. If it doesn't bring you joy, out it goes. You wanted to do this. I was like, are you good? You're like talking yourself. <laughs> Okay, I took a little break and I found these big oversized Levi's that I have just like stored away in my closet because I went thrift shopping one day and I really thought they were cute. Guys, I cut them and I rolled them up and they're so cute. They're like way too big for me. I did the little trick where you loop this in the little belt pocket thingy-majigger to make the waistline tighter. Every time I go to the thrift store, these jeans are always like, I swear to God, like five, six dollars. And these are Levi's. I tweeted something and I was like, what people are gonna do the first thing they get out of quarantine? And I was like, no one. And then I was like, 
me go to the thrift store. I miss thrift shopping so much. This just shows that the men's section in the thrift store is so underappreciated. It's like a cute pair of jeans now. Your cute jeans, Kylie Jenner quote. But I just make sure whenever you cut them, always cut them way too long, like up to maybe like your knee and then roll it up. I think that's what makes it look the cutest. Or you could distress it, but I just think that's like way too much work. I don't know, low key I was like, oh, this is like a $6 project. Like if it doesn't look good, like it's not that big of a deal. It's only like a $6 pair of jeans, but I'm so happy with how it ended up looking. The only thing is it's a little bit scrunchy, scrunchy. I don't know how to say it, but there's just like a lot of extra fabric, but I don't know. I think it's a cute DIY. That's literally so easy. It took me like five seconds to do. And you can do whatever your creative heart desires with the rest of the fabric, but I'm just gonna throw it out. You can make like a face mask or something cute, but I don't know. And I'm gonna get done, but that. Also the cutest thing, Blue has been following me around everywhere recently. Like it's so cute. I'll go from like my bedroom to down here and she'll just follow me and watch. I'm gonna go upstairs. She's gonna follow me upstairs. <laughs> Okay, back to organizing. Oh, there she is. I know it's a little maze you have to get in. There she is. Oh. So random, but look at what I found. I wanted the guest bedroom, bathroom to be very like cute and lemon themed. So I got this, this rug that says squeeze me for the shower. I don't have a shower curtain. So I got a lemon shower curtain and this like lemon soap. Oh my God, I forgot that I even ordered this. This is what the guest bedroom looks like right now. There's literally like, I think I need to get a rod for the shower curtains. I don't even have a rod. Cute, now I need to add that to my shopping cart. A shower curtain rod. house party with Teal and Sierra and I don't know I'm just in a good mood right now because there was just good news happening but this is what the big pile looks like right now it's getting hard to organize because the pile is now spewing out so I think I'm gonna grab some garbage bags I'm gonna separate it from garbage donate yeah just garbage and donate <laughs> we're gonna need a lot of them I got a couple the next day. Guys, I need to show you what I got in the mail. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. So I don't know if you guys know the iconic company Kappa, but they sent over this fanny pack. I bought a yellow version of this for Coachella and it was so convenient. This crop tank top and my favorite thing that they sent was this set. Even look at the buttons of Kappa. But this morning I had a pretty productive day. I just had a call with my life coach. I had a call with my, my management about like new logos, new brand stuff, new website. And one of my goals with my life coach is, girl, I just need to wake up early. Earlier. Going from LA to Toronto, it just fucks up my whole schedule. I need to just like start waking up early in the morning. So we want to try something. What we decided we should try is my phone doesn't wake me up. Like I set like alarms at 9, 10, 11, and I always wake up at 12. So I set an alarm here. So I have to physically get out of bed into my bathroom and turn it off. And to make the morning even better and easier, I have my skincare fridge and I put a little coffee in there. And I was thinking I can maybe put like a breakfast like above it on the top shelf. But I think just like making the morning a little bit more pleasant will hopefully get me up in the morning But back to the closet So I think I have like five garbage bags of clothes that I can donate even more in the hallway here that I could throw in the bags All that I have left is pretty much my pajamas I left that for the very last because I feel like that'll be the easiest and just getting rid of all the garbage bags And maybe putting it in my car so I can donate it Also, I want to go around the house and see if I can decorate my closet in any way I already put like some of my bigger bags that don't fit downstairs where all my bags are and then I have some boxes, some extra boxes I put up there. I think it'd be cute to maybe put like some flowers or some sort of plant here. And for lighting, I was FaceTiming my friends yesterday and they were like, oh my God, you have a nipple light. Guys, I have a booby light. So <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute, but I think it could be even cuter if we had like some sort of pendant or something like that, like a hanging light or something like a chandelier. I don't know. I definitely want to make over my bathroom and my closet and paint it white. I already have the paint for it, but maybe it's something like I can order. Order Home Depot lights and like have my dad pick up or have blue pick up <laughs> But I'm so excited for my shoe storage guys the way that I had my shoes organized like before this is I basically had it all Downstairs and it was like all in a mess like nothing was organized. It was hard I would always find one shoe and I couldn't find the other because it was just in one big pile 
style and now they it looks nice and clean and organized and now even when I pick my outfits I can be like oh what shoe can I because I always wear the same shoes so now I can be like you know maybe for this outfit I want to revolve it around my yellow shoes or like whatever also if you live where it snows you guys know this pair of shoes had so much salt stains on them I was like oh I should maybe I should just throw it out because it's so bad but then I tried and I used this on it and honestly it helps so much it still has a little bit of salt stain I have to probably scrub it a little bit more but this helps so much I think I've also tried vinegar vinegar to get rid of salt stains actually surprisingly works <laughs> but yeah that's the update on the shoes now gotta organize the pajamas I'm doing the pass the brush challenge with all my friends and I was like how jokes would be if Andre just like was in it for like a random clip look in <laughs> oh my god you're so good Decorating time! <laughs> I don't know why Blue is terrified of Febreze. She doesn't like anything that sprays. Understandable though. I want this new closet, good energy, new aura. Okay, this is where I used to store my shoes and it was like a big mess. Like while I'm at it, I might as well find shoes that I don't want and donate those too. Wow, normally I get anxious opening this closet, but now nothing is spilling out. She's clean. She's organized. I kept all my slides down here because I feel like when you want to just run out the door, you just want to put on a pair of slides, like something really quick, something really easy. <laughs> you know the meme when you grab the first pair of shoes like near the door and it's like this huge guy and he's wearing like heels. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy about this. Also super happy because I'll be donating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of clothes. And I have this box of like shampoos and makeup that I can also donate to. I've also donated to this place before. It's called Find Your Fabulosity and they're so great for, for donations, new lipsticks to help victims of domestic violence and dating violence heal. I'm gonna hopefully get my mom to ship that out or something. Okay, when I come into my closet, I want it to be a pleasant experience. Unlike how it was before, it was like a nightmare and I was scared of it. So I got these little pictures. This is like, it's just me and Nikki at Coachella, me and Chloe at Coachella. It's just like, it just brings the good vibes. So I'm gonna put that right up here so it's like the first thing that you see. Bringing in the good vibes, the sunshine weather. Now I found these in my studio room. I don't know if I want to do yellow or pink. I kind of want it to be in here. You're not going to believe it, but I think I like pink better. Just because I want like seven rings vibes, like super girly. Okay, I want like seven rings vibes. At first I searched up on Pinterest. I was like shopaholic quotes and there were some cute ones. It was like, I'm not a shopaholic. I'm just helping out the economy. But I think I want to put, I see I like it. I want it. I got it. Or maybe just I want it. I got it. Wearing a ring, but ain't got no misses. Bot matching diamonds for six of my is You like my hair? Do you think it's just bought it? Okay, I think I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it is my favorite. Oh, Queen Ari coming in with a cool. <laughs> I like it, I want it, I got it. Oh my god, I was here the entire time. I didn't even know that she was here. She was so quiet. Hi, I'm gonna hang up my thing. You like it? Okay, then I got these LED remote control slim pack lights. I think it could be cute to kind of like put them on the, the three that are on display. So like one here, one here, one here. Okay, you guys ready? Ah! Okay, that was so easy to set up. I literally just plopped in the batteries, put a, it on a little sticky and it was perfect. I think I got it off of, I forget. I ordered it so long ago and I didn't just putting it up now. Whoa, that makes a big difference. Ready and, oh, oh, ah! <laughs> Do you ever clean and you just like admire what you've done? That's what I've been doing. Like, I swear to God, I felt like the past like 30 minutes I was just looking at my closet and I was like, wow. I did that. It doesn't even feel like the same closet I was. it was like 24 hours ago. I'm in love with it. I think the whole, just the functionality of it all is just so much easier to find things, see things, grab things. I don't have to deal with the doors. I don't have all this extra clothes that I don't even use lying around. And I think it's just a very positive space to be in. Before it was so negative and I remember there were clothes all over the floor and like it wasn't displayed very nicely. Now I have pictures of my friends all up there. I have like some cute Ariana Grande quotes. I think the 
closet is definitely not 100% done. I definitely want to maybe like paint it white, maybe change the lighting fixture to like a can Why did I almost say candle? Fix the lighting fixture to maybe like some pen that's like hanging or like a chandelier or something like that. I feel like, I don't know, lighting fixtures that make the biggest difference in a room. Also, I added a new <laughs> carpet and I think Blue really likes it. She's been sleeping on it the entire time since I just put it there, but it's like two in the morning. I think I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Even look here. Oh, you can see the floor. It's not scary. It's nice. Also, remember when I said that I want to wake up early? <laughs> Still have my alarm going off at nine. It's okay. It's like a good like seven-ish hours of sleep. I want to do like a really nice closet tour because I'm just like really proud of it I just want to show like, how I organize things so I'm gonna start over here here I just have my fluffy socks I definitely want to get my label maker and label everything I feel like half of the things are labeled right now but I can label that later and then here I just have any fun summery or casual dresses or rompers here I have my bras here I have my underwear here I have my lingerie which I'm not gonna show you socks and then moving to the next section here I have beanies baseball caps scarves and belts and then I kind of color coordinated at least I tried to color coordinate all of my hoodies or sweaters I have some like long sleeve anything that didn't fit in my top drawer I also put but these are my tops I have like all of my sports shirts here any flowy shirts here tank tops here more tank tops random my IMG tops my girls sporting girls tops and tube tops in the back okay second drawer I have my shorts and then any other skirts over here here I have this is my favorite drawer my jeans oh I feel like I'm like looking at a store. I love this drawer. It's like kind of overflowing though. No, this is actually the one that's overflowing. These are my pants that are not jeans. So these are like sweatpants, like these leathery ones, cargo pants, all the stuff like that. The next section I have like headbands, that shoe cleaner, and then those two are empty. And then I have my boots and all of the shoes go back another layer. <laughs> Please, no judgment. Here I have my sneakers. My favorite ones are my naked wolves. And then some more casual ones in the back. Here I have my yellow shoes. I tried to make it aesthetically pleasing. Actually, let me put this here so it looks more yellow. And then I have some heels in the back. And then I was able to get rid of so many hoodies. I feel like I had so many hoodies. I like I have a hoodie problem. Every time I go to a concert, every time I like have the chance, I always buy a hoodie. So I got rid of a bunch and I still was left with three full drawers. Or not drawers, but like shelving of hoodies. And they literally they go back one layer too. Oh no, scary. And at the very bottom, I have my fuzzy. These are like the Toronto Maple Leaf hoodies that I have. They're so comfy. I always wear them to bed. And then I have my slippers. And those are like the extra meals that are for the Ikea packs. And moving on over here, I have more shoes. So I have like my black booties, any nice heels, my white sneakers, my Balenciagas. And then here I have some dust bags. I just thought it looked cute. And then here I have all of my pajamas. And I got rid of quite a lot which I'm so happy about I feel like everybody has those pajamas that are like so ugly but you just had them since you were little but like you can't get yourself to get rid of it because you've always had those pajamas but, like you never wear those pajamas but like they're comfy but like I don't know like I just have a weird relationship with the old pajamas that I have and then here I tried to display some of my nicer items so I have like my Gucci shoes and then here are all of my dressy outfits so I have some like suits anything that I would possibly want to wear to a red carpet I have this like Louis Vuitton suit and dress set for like it was supposed to be for like me and my ex <laughs> but i think andre and i are gonna take a photo and it would be really cool and then more suits any dresses for carpets this i wore in tokyo it's like <laughs> a crazy costume but i i don't know it like makes me happy and i, I love seeing it oh my for love and lemons dress this one i think i wore to prom and i still love it it's so cute these sisters of the labels dresses i think i wore this one to bora bora or i think it was the other color maybe and then down here i have my leggings oh i love 
that organization. Those are all my leggings you'll see over here. And then at the bottom here, I just put flannels because I feel like the flannels are a very like Canadian thing and we all have flannels. So I have a couple down here. And then on the last drawer, I have some of my nicer items. I have my vision board. I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. And then here I have all of my sports bras. I tried to color coordinate them. So it's color over here, neutrals over here. And then here are my shorts. Try to color coordinate them. Here are more leggings that just didn't fit in that pant thingy majigger and then more casual shorts over here i have my gym shirts or any gym <laughs> oh sorry baby i have my gym like jackets anything to cover up while i'm at the gym i have some like headbands and scrunchies here and then in the last drawer i have all of my bathing suits oh baby i'm sorry can i wake you up but i just have like my one pieces here my yellow bathing suits and then all the other colors here i have a lot i didn't realize how many yellow bathing suits i had and i have so many Hollister bathing suits because I was a model for them like last year and they just like kept giving me free bathing suits and I miss it a lot. Oh, Hollister, I really miss you. Ooh, this is a good stretch. Yes, it is actually 2.49 in the morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's tip of the day goes to yellow underscore Addy. On Instagram, she just tagged me and her tip of the day says, take care of you, put yourself first. It is not selfish. And if it is, then be selfish. I love this tip of the day because I feel like since we're spending so much time at our houses, I feel like we should just be selfish and just, you know, decorate it, make it look cute, make it a positive environment to be in. And then today's merch shout of the day goes to Adeline underscore Bebop Blue Blop on Instagram. Oh, it's Bebop Lemon Drop. Oh my God. Adeline underscore Bebop Lemon Drop with her gray girls pointing girls hoodie. Oh, but I hope you guys have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow. Same place, same time. Bye.